Hey, what's up, you guys? Good morning. Welcome to episode 25, opening weekend of the NFL First and 10 New York Jets podcast. How are you doing this morning, brother? I'm good. I'm good. We're literally, I, what, at this time of the morning, 29 hours away from kickoff? Can you imagine? Yeah. Man. Yeah, I, I, I have to say, um, the NFL picked a good game Thursday night. They really kicked the season off with a bang. I mean, I didn't, ex- I don't know. I didn't expect Dallas to play the way they played. And that well, was an excellent game. Let me tell you a story about Thursday night. Okay. All right. I went and practiced. Hostile Rage practice. Mm-hmm, Gear, mm-hmm. Gearing up for Metal Fest 6. Yeah. Septem- September 25th at Debonair Music Hall in Teaneck, New Jersey. Be there or be square. Anyway, I'm on my way home from from band practice i stop at the store blah 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 okay i get home (laughs) i got no cable i got no internet all night long wow i did not see one play wow so that that that's how my opening night went so wow yeah well let me let, let me tell you before we get into other things it was a great game I'm not a fan of either one of the teams. I always want Brady to lose, even though I hate America's team. I always root against Brady. Mm -hmm. But the Dallas kicker missed two field goals and an extra point, which would have gave them a a shoo-in of a win. And But Dak looked good. Dak looked good. Props to him coming back from that injury. So Dak looked good. I heard something about a controversial offensive pass interference call. Kevin? Like I said, I don't root for either team, but I was screaming at the TV because time and time again, the refs let this happen. And I feel like when you play Brady, you play the refs as well. Oh, come on. There's no question. All he's, you know? Come on. When he was on New England and we played him, all he had to do was get up and look at the ref and go, oh, yeah. and yeah. out came the flag. And, and, you know, <laughs> I really thought there was going to be a lot of screaming and yelling and clamoring on the on the football networks the next day they didn't think it was a penalty they didn't think it was a penalty they thought it was they didn't think because it was a godwin that he didn't fully extend his arms on the push off that it was a clean little whatever i, I can't argue with this anyway you can't get crazy o- no. over that but yeah. before we get started here we all know what day this is today mm-hmm. okay uh 20 year anniversary uh last night i put up a little clip on the on the podcast channel of the of a game i was at for the 10 year anniversary Mm -hmm. um so i mean if you got time today go check that out it's nice beginning a, a real great tribute to the you know the first responders and everything. And and then the, the way the game turned out was even better. So yes. go check it out when you get a chance. And, and following up on that, the NFL put out a nice statement. If people could bear with me, I'm just going to read it for like a minute or two. I'm just going to read it off my phone. So sorry if I'm not looking at the screen. So the 20th anniversary of the 9-11 terrorist attacks on our nation will be this Saturday, one day before the first NFL Sunday of 2021. 20 years ago on a Saturday, our nation endured tragic events none of us will ever forget. People lost lives and others risked theirs during the 9-11 terrorist attacks of the New York City World Trade Center. This Sunday marks the first NFL Sunday of the 2021 regular season, just one day following the 20th anniversary. Because of this, teams will recognize the historic tragedy. The league will commit to Tuesday's Children, which supports families who have dealt with loss from 9-11 post 9-11 military services or other terrorist attacks. For a press release from the NFL this week, NFL media will have a tribute video broadcasted on both CBS and Fox ahead of the 9-1 p.m. Eastern games this Sunday. The video will display the significance of the aftermath of 9-11 and will be narrated by Steve Buscemi. The national anthem will then be performed at the National September 11th Memorial and Museum. Players will wear 9-11 ribbons decals on their helmets, while coaches will wear 9-11 pins. NYPD, FDNY, and Port Authority Police Department hats will also be worn during the Giants and Jets regular season. Openness to recognize the 9-11 first responders. 
I think that's great that the NFL is doing that. Yeah, I that's a good thing. Great. That's a good thing, man. That's a good thing. I think that's okay. great. Before we start, Kevin, let, let's just give a, lo- a moment of silence for all the lives we lost 20 years ago, all the lives yeah. we continue to lose due to terrorist we, attacks. We lost a lot of people that day. Yeah, and, and, and I'm sure, and we're not going to get into it, but everyone we talk to either lost someone, I have, I'm sure you have, or know mm-hmm. someone who lost mm-hmm. someone. Absolutely. It, it affected everyone. It, it, it affected everyone. So let's just give a moment of silence for that. Okay. Yep. 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 Tough man. Twenty years. Yeah. Yeah. Years. Can you imagine? Yeah. It's, yeah. It, that it's that it's been that long. Yeah. And I mean, yeah. it, in 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 my memory, it's like it was yesterday. But my God, Kevin, and, and, and you know, growing up, me as a kid, and even now, growing up under the shadows of those towers, you know that you know, as a young boy that was my way home. Like as long as I saw the towers, I knew I was heading in the right direction, heading mm-hmm. home. They were like my, my, my guidance, my, you know, it was, and for everyone, those towers represented peace and love hey. and honor and respect it, you know, freedom, freedom. freedom yeah. You know, it, it's been 20 years, Kevin, the New York skyline doesn't look the same to me. It doesn't look the same. No, to me, you no. Know? And Listen, there's, there's, a, there's a spot here in Jersey, okay? Mm-hmm. There's a highway, Route 17, okay? When you're coming, it's between the towns I grew up in. I grew up in Ramsey, New Jersey, mm-hmm. okay? When you're coming up over the hill on Route 17, okay, you get an insane view of the skyline on a clear wow. day. Wow. And I, I can remember being a kid and, and, and driving and everything, a teenager. And I would always see that skyline and those two towers. You could yeah. see them all the way from that town in yes. Jersey. Yeah. And now, I mean, it, it, it just, it, it'll never look the same ever. Yeah. You know, and oh. you know, like I said, for a kid, I grew up down here growing up under those towers, the shadow, the, you know, you looked up in R, who's five, eight, 11 years old, just looking up at those things. And, you know, that those for me were the symbol of everything our, our country stood about, all the whatever, you know, it was. Anyway, I don't want to get too sentimental. Let's yeah. get into football. It's week one. We got a big game. What do you got for us? What do you got? I got an injury report. Okay. All right. Okay. We got, we got Crowder out. Yep. We got, Cole, questionable, game yep, time game, decision, yes, right? Yes. Uh, we got Neesman out. Out, yep. Uh, and P. Ryan is questionable. We'll see. Okay. Now, you now, heard questionable. Was that when, when did that come down? Because as far as I know, he was full bore at practice, I thought, the other day. Okay. that's the, This is this morning. Okay. This is this, yeah, this Excellent. is this morning. Yeah. Okay. He's, que- he's questionable. Even okay. though he was full practice, he's probably okay. Play, so. Hey, listen, coaches never give away all their secrets. Of course not. You know, of course it's the not. same way we heard. Uh, was it um, Coach Al- Albrick who said we're going to do cornerback by committee? That could be interesting. It that could be, be interesting. I mean, I don't know that I agree with that, but hey, I'm not a coach, so hey. And you know, I, I, I can see the line. Okay, I, I'm a guy that pays attention to lines. Okay. Okay. We started as a five and a half point dog. We're down yeah. to four. So, okay. Money's going on the jet. So we'll see. Yeah. And I wonder if that has more to do with the head to head matchups of our D line against their weak O line because they lost a key player on their offensive line. So I'm wondering. Mm-hmm. 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 So, so let uh, me ask you. And as, and as far as injuries for the Panthers, we got. John Miller, who's a guard, that's out, and and yeah, COVID. She's, she's Smith, wide receiver, is out. That's it. They got two yeah. guys out. That's it. Yeah, yeah. So w- when you woke up Monday morning, which was Labor Day, you know it's a holiday. We're a week away. What was your train of thought heading into the start of the week? Damn, I wish it was Sunday. Okay. <laughs> 
So my train of thought was that I'm going to sit with my notes and get my note pay out, just like if it was the first day of school. And I'm going to make notes because this is going to be a busy week. Every this Everything's going to happen this week. So I get my paper and I, I, I have it here, all, you know, chicken scraps. And, and I write Monday. And I'm thinking there's going to be a big week of news. One, I didn't think there was that much news, but I did stick with it and wrote what Tuesday, what Wednesday. But I woke up Monday morning. I turned on my favorite football show. And I don't know if it was because Labor Day, maybe the guy who said it figures it's Labor Day, nobody's watching. He starts off his little thing about three minutes into the program and says, Zach Wilson will win rookie of the year. No. Yep. Yep. Wait, wait. Wait, you got a little crystal ball there? Yeah. Come no, on, I know man. these are TV shows and they have to do things like that. And a couple of things. First off, I want – can we let the kid play eight or nine games? Can we let him play one? Yeah. <laughs> Before we say rookie of the year. Come on, man. And I, mean, then, I mean, if that's the case, hey, God bless. Uh, nobody would be happier than me, but – Exactly. And I know I relax, relax. And I know you're right. And I know sports shows have to come on and say these things. But I was thinking to myself, well, maybe he said it because it's Labor Day. No one's watching. It's 7 a.m. People are out still out from the night before. They're hungover. They're enjoying their Memorial Day. And then I was worried that I feel we're a team that buys into the press clippings. Yes, always have been. You know, like I feel like and I feel like we're the one team who reads the daily news, reads the, the post, reads what everyone's saying and buys into this stuff. And, you know, if the post has you or the daily news has them winning, oh, my God, here they come, blah, 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 blah then yeah. their heads go. Psh. Yeah. And, and I don't feel. And then the next week they'll go out and lay a freaking egg. Exactly. And then. And then it was either Tuesday or Wednesday. Now I'm skipping around. Romo comes out with his cockamamie. I, I, I saw it. I saw it. But what I was impressed about is the way Zach Wilson handled it all afterwards. He nipped it in the bud, you know. And I'm sure every player would. But I was. He just basically like, said what I just said. Relax. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, I got to tell you, every press conference that I've watched. It's like night and day from what we saw in the past. You know, everyone just yep. seems. I mean, I he's not Rex coming out with a wig on. But, no, but, but no. he also he also isn't. No, exactly. Like right, everything right. you hear from like, even when you hear Coach Albrecht talk and his famous quote, which I, we got to get it on a shirt. We're going to let them eat. We're going to let them eat. You know, like everything is just, you know, they don't give away the farm, but they give us enough to say, you know what? This coaching staff has their act together. And, you know, everybody's excited to see Zach and everything. And I understand that. You know mm -hmm. who I'm excited to see tomorrow? Well, if you're anything... Go ahead. I, I, I no, 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 no. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go well, ahead. If you're anything like me, I think you want to see Shaq Lawson. Yes. Yeah. Because everything I keep hearing is that this man could have the breakout season that everyone expected from him when he was drafted. Was it four years ago or whatever it was? Man, I saw him. He says he can't wait. This staff is going to let me be me. And, and, and I'm excited to I'm excited to watch him. Yeah, I agree. hopefully hopefully he introduces himself a few times tomorrow to Sam. So oh yeah, oh yeah, oh definitely, 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 definitely. And hopefully, and hopefully it's when Sam's on the ground and he's on top of him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nice to meet you. I'm Mr. Nice, Shaq nice, Lawson. Nice to meet you. <laughs> yeah, you know, and in, and in, and in saying what you just said, the same thing goes for our our, our cornerbacks. I know everyone's a little worried. Everyone, when it came out that they were going to do this cornerback by committee, everyone was like, ooh, and ah. And I know two key factors in tomorrow's game will be our D-line 
versus the Panther Mm -hmm. Mm O-line. Maybe we get the edge on that. Where everyone is worried is about the season-wide receivers on the Panthers against our cornerbacks. And I get it. I'm just going to read something out. So we have seven cornerbacks on our roster. Four are rookies. Two are second-year players. And zero was drafted higher than the fifth round. Hey, man. So a couple of things I want to say about that. Go. I understand he was drafted by us in the first round, 12th mm-hmm. pick. But Revis didn't become an island in year one. He right. had to slowly build that island. So mm-hmm. who's to say that these kids can't come into their own? Exactly. Exactly. I don't, you know, yes, I was one of the voices who said I wanted a, 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 a seasoned vet in here to help the rookies out. We didn't get it. At least we didn't get it for week one. We might get it for week two. We don't know. But we rolled with Salah for the last 35 weeks that he's been a head coach. We're buying into what he's doing. We're buying into everything he believes in. Let's buy into these rookies. Yeah, you know, hey. if he, if these rookies have the heart like one Pat Tillman, these rookies, we don't know. They could turn out to be great. We don't know what we're getting yet. Hey. As long as these rookies play with heart, they play not scared. They they play fierce. They play fast. They play smart. Who's to say we're not going to be all right? I don't. I don't want to panic just yet on the fact that none of these rookies were drafted higher than a fifth round. I mean, yeah, I would have liked to see some vets in the back end, Mm -hmm. but you know, hopefully with the D line that, that we got. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's all about getting to the quarterback. We know exactly. It it doesn't matter if you have four season, if you had three season vets in, 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 in the, in the cornerback uh, field that day, if our D line does not put pressure on these quarterbacks, if if the opposing quarterback has all day to sit back there and make a sandwich and, 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 Hmm. Well, no, he's covered. No, he's covered. Oh, he's wide open. Boom. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. We've always said it's predicated on, the, the solid defense, and, and all defense is pretty much for that, man, is predicated on that pass rush. If that pass rush can't do anything, it doesn't matter who our cornerbacks are. So let's not worry about cornerback by committee or these are rookies, none of them higher than a fifth-round pick, blah, blah, blah. You know what? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, and do you think Jet fans are worried because they have higher expectations for this team than they should? But listen, how can you be a Jet fan? I mean, oh, okay, we all have, we all want to win. We all want, mm-hmm. we all want to win the Super Bowl. We all want to yes. go to the playoffs. But as a Jet fan, how can you seriously sit here on Week One? We haven't even played a game and mm-hmm. think. Ah, nah, nah. Like you were telling me before, some dude, a 17 and 0. What do you yeah. get the hell out of here? Come on, yeah. man. Get a grip on yourself. Get a grip on yourself. <laughs> really? Like, no one wants to drink the Kool Aid more than me. Oh, Believe absolutely. Me. You but, know? But, but you got to be I'm realistic, taking, I'm taking too. Small sips. I'm taking small sips of the Kool Aid. <laughs> you know? I just, I again, I, I, I keep saying it, Kevin. Show me toughness. Show me building blocks. Effort. Show me week to week. We're getting it. We're grasping it. You know, you know, we're giving teams out their headaches and making them sweat when they play us. That's that's the one thing I think you're gonna get under this staff that lacked for the last few years, even under Bowles. Oh yeah, Bowles's last year. You know, there was yeah. no effort. There was no nah. effort. It was no. just going – you could see it was going through the motions. The defense, the linebackers, a running back would run by him, and they'd just say, hey, wait a minute, i got to tackle you. Oh, yeah. I missed them. <laughs> yeah. Oh, great. Oh, great. So, so. And, 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 and for me, and we talked about this earlier, and again, we don't know what anyone's going to be on this team, but I just like for a change, I feel like, we have 53 dogs on this team. Like, I feel like, see, like, 
I know we didn't announce it, but everyone knows it. Crowder is out. He's on the COVID list. So he's gone for week one. Mm -hmm. Keen Cole is going to be a game time decision. I'm leaning towards he probably won't play, but that's just me. But I'm not worried. Like I still, we got Mims. We got Davis. We got Moore. We and, got and, Berrios. We got and, like. Right. And, and to the people saying 17 and no, God bless you. But come on. <sighs> The last four years, <laughs> or should I say four out of the last five seasons, we finished uh -huh. in last place in the AFC East. Yeah. Yeah. Four, four, out, of the, four out of the last five seasons. So, yeah. I mean, I, I, listen, nobody wants to win more than me, but I got, I, I, I got to get a grip on myself no. or I'm going to go crazy. And correct me if I'm wrong, I believe now we lead the league in playoff drought, right? 11 years? 11 years. Yeah. yeah. 11 years. Now, listen. And, and I mean, they, they did their best to surround this kid with weapons. Coleman, Davis, you know, even even Crowder, even though he's not playing, yeah. you know. But, I, I mean, we'll, we'll see what happens. And listen, who's to say we can't do what Miami did last year and win 10 games and be in the fight? Maybe we could. I'm not saying we're not. I, I, me personally, I don't tell. I never told you, Kevin. I never tell anyone how to root for your team, our team, or what you like. I'm just saying me. I'm just taking that game by game. Let's not get anyone else injured. Let's grow as units. Let's Let's put a killer team. Let's give these teams something to think about and take it from there. Let me tell you, Kevin, if we could, let's say for the sake of this conversation, we go six and 11. We're in every game. I'm okay with that. You'll take that. Yeah. But what I would really want now is in year two, 10 and six, like my next year's, my next year's outlook is going to be much higher for this team than this year's team, because we're now, all growing together. As much as the rational fan in me wants to agree with you, okay, mm -hmm. and I'd be happy with that too, the other side of me says, screw that. I want to kick everybody's ass. Yeah. I, I want to I, I be a, a freaking – I want a winning record. I want, I want 10 wins. I want 11 wins. But – Oh, I listen, I, I, I get it. I, you know what, Kevin? This team this year has been my own – devil or angel you know the angel <laughs> <and> they, <laughs> and, and they, believe me, they talk to me as you know they keep me up at night you know i'm having oh, conversations me too, me too. With, my, with myself you know like again i was looking at the schedule yesterday and the devil in me is saying greg you're an ass this team is going to be 11 and 6 are you kidding me look at this. <laughs> you know listen to your buddy kevin miami doesn't scare you new england with Mac and cheese quarterback, and they shouldn't scare you. And then the angel says, Greg, step by step, one game at a time. Let's see how it pans out, you know. Mm -hmm. so, and I'm torn, and I'm looking at the devil smog on here. <laughs> and then I'm looking at the angel going, you're right. You're right. <laughs> calm, calm. You know, I, I'm. this is the first year, Kevin. I've been watching this team for 45 years. Again, I don't know how much I understood at six, seven, eight, but this is the first year my head is going, I don't know where to go. I, I you know, I want to dive in feet first. I don't care how deep the pool is. I just want to dive in 12 and five players. We're going to shock the world, but I, I, I can't right now. I just <sighs> slow breath, slow, you know, and, hey, and that's listen, how I'm taking it. Do you, do you think I'm pumped up? It's Saturday, and I got my freaking jersey on. Oh, yeah. And listen, we all get pumped up in different ways. I got in my head the clock, 28 hours, 27 hours, 48 hours. You know, we all get pumped in our different way. I just don't want a repeat of last year where I really thought under the Gase regime for the second year, the way we ended the first year, we were going to blow things up. And I mean blow things up in a good way. Like we were going to. And it was utter crap. It was 16 weeks of utter crap. Listen, I, 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 like I've told you a million times, last season, 
by the end of the first quarter, sometimes I was shutting the TV. I was going yeah. outside. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. And, and you're talking to a guy who never missed a game. I, I mean, we had season tickets. It didn't matter if it was pouring rain. It didn't matter if it was 35 degrees. It didn't matter if we stunk. I was mm-hmm. there sitting in the stands. How many nine, six cult victories I, I watched? <laughs> yeah. You, you know, I, I'll never forget, man. We're at the Colts. We were playing the Colts. Mm-hmm. It was raining so hard that where your feet were, it, it was like it was like puddling up. There was like an inch of water. That's wow. how, yeah. It was raining so hard, and sat there and sure it was six six the yeah. whole freaking game almost. Sure enough, at the end, Colts line up, boom, kick a field goal. End of the game was nine six. It's like wait a minute. I sat in the freaking pouring yeah, rain yeah. in 35 degrees to watch no, you. No, I, I understand like that. that. Yeah. Holy crap. <laughs> you know, whenever you bring up that game, the game that comes to mind, I don't remember how old I was. I maybe was 12, maybe a little older, but I do know I was a, a delivery boy on the weekend. And I remember asking a buddy to work for me because the Jets were playing on a Saturday. Now, back then, Saturday games weren't common. You know, it wasn't like it yeah. is today. And we were playing, I don't know if you remember, we were playing the Redskins and we beat them 6-0. I remember that. It was either 6 nothing or 3 nothing. It was our first possession. Boomer led us down the field. We kicked the, anyway, my point being was that, like you, I dedicated everything. Every time this team was on, I dedicated my four hours a, a, a day to watch this team. I remember mm-hmm. when I was dating my now wife and I'm with her now over 20 years. And I said that she wasn't into sports. She got into it being married to me. She became a Jet fan, a Knicks fan, a Mets fan through me. And I remember her saying to her, the one thing you have to know about me, I will do anything for you, anything you want. But on Sundays, you cannot bother me from 12 to 4 or 4 to 8. And I said, I love you to death, hon, you know. But you have to let me have this four hours, and <laughs> that's my how whole, I am. My whole family freaking knows. Don't schedule any family events on Sundays. In the f- yeah, no, exactly. And let me tell you something. Here's how crazy I am. Now, I know a lot of fans like to go to sports bars and rally with the troops and watch their games. I will not watch a game with anyone but my house it's just me it's part of my superstition it's a ritual man it's the ritual i've I've been to sports bars to watch other teams where i could just sit back and relax i need to do my thing when i watch my jets i need to have my you know and I mean, my favorite is when it starts getting a little cool outside. We get into October. We get into, I mean, usually our season's over by then. But <laughs> my favorite is getting the fire going yeah. and, and you're hanging out. And I got the laptop with there. I got all the games up. Yeah. And I mean, I used, to, I used to have NFL ticket, but okay, I, I, I kind of went away from that. It's a personal decision. For yeah, me. yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Yeah. But, but anyway, I, 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 I just, I just like, I have weird things that it, like, and I know it, we'll, we'll get back to the game. Do you have any superstitions when you watch your jets? Like well, I'm a nut when I watch the jets. Okay, give me a break. Um, <laughs> who the hell do you think you're talking to here? I can sit there. If my right foot is crossed over my left foot and, and we're moving the ball and scoring mm-hmm. touchdowns, man, I, I, I ain't going the other way. Yeah. I'm leaving it like that, you know? Yeah. I yeah. mean, I, I, I won't <laughs> flip. I won't flip to another game. Okay. Like if, if, if we're doing well or something and I say, oh, I can't flip to another yeah. game. I'm going to jinx it. We're going to yeah. come back and we're going to fumble the ball. And so yeah, I no, exactly. here and sit through crappy commercials instead of going. Yeah, exactly. Other- all these years, I took it upon myself as the reason, and maybe it's true, the Jets aren't a good team or don't have this luck. 
I, I always said because of what I was doing, like I always felt it was me. What you were, what you were wearing, what you yeah. were doing, what you yeah. ate, what you. <laughs> so I, I went know. through this season, and it might have been Chad Pennington's first year. I can't remember where. Every time we scored, I did push-ups. So if we scored a touchdown, seven points, I did seven push-ups. And the next time we kicked the field goal, that was ten. I did ten push-ups. That didn't work. I had to abandon that <laughs> belief. The Rex Ryan years, I built the shrine over the TV, all my little jet stuff. For the first two years, it worked. Year three was a debacle. I had to get rid of that shrine. The Bulls years, I went through this thing where I would wear the other team's colors in the hoping that the football gods would jinx that would team. Be, yeah. <laughs> that didn't work. <laughs> so... The only, woo, yeah. The <laughs> only superstition that I have and I kept is that I will not buy anything Jets twenty four hours before the game. So if I'm in a store and I see a cool Jet hat, or I, it could be a signed autograph Jet jersey. I'm not buying it if it's past one o'clock on a Saturday. I just don't do it. <laughs> well, do well, it. hey man, same here. I was buying it. How many years I bought jerseys of players and everything, and and the next year, once free agency and that crap started up, it didn't. Pay, you can't even buy a jersey with it <laughs> with a freaking guy's name on it because the the next year he's on a different team. Yeah. So let me ask you: tomorrow, one o'clock, you're on your couch. Are you jet up? Are you all with the hat, the the jersey? Oh, listen. Yeah. I'm even I'm even personalized. Are you kidding me? Very nice. Okay. Let's, you see now my superstition. Yeah, no, I hear you. My whether it's what what is it? ADD or whatever, whatever. I don't know what it's called. My superstition <laughs> will not let me wear I just don't do it. When the game is over and we win, I put the stuff on. I don't know. I don't I'm just a weirdo. I'm just a friggin' weirdo. Now wait a minute. With that said. As jetted up as I am, if we're sucking, I'll rip everything okay. off and go outside. Okay. Okay. Ball it up, throw it down. You suck. Yeah. Now, Kevin, I'm hoping, I'm hoping this year, as we talked about throughout these podcasts and every Jet Nation, every Jet podcast, let's talk about the curse as we believe we have. I have a feeling I might have the answer to breaking this curse. Really? Yeah. So lay, lay it on me. I am. So here we go. Little and the, funny story. And the, rest, and the rest of Jet Nation. Lay it yeah. on us. So here's a little funny story. I've been in this apartment now for about 16 years. And I always have my favorite spot on the couch that I watch the Jets on. There was even a time where first quarter I sat in the end, then the second quarter, the middle, the third quarter, the other end, and then the fourth quarter was just nerves. And I would just walk around, you know. Anyway, this year we bought a new couch. The old couch had to go. It was broken down, and you know I was sitting in it. Well, in the listen, that's it. That means we're gonna start winning. So the thing is, I don't have a favorite spot to watch my Jets in yet. Could this be a good thing? That's a good thing. This is a good omen. Could this be a good thing? Yes. You know. Yes. Because yes, for yes. sixteen years. On this couch, I had favorite spots for different quarters, different things, and now I don't. Listen, I even got a new sweatpants, a pair of sweatpants the other, jet sweatpants the other day because I think all my other ones are cursed and they're yeah, all no. they're they're all soiled with gase and bowls and yeah. everything else. So I hear you. Start I, fresh. I'm, I'm so stupid that I won't let my son wear his jet shirt while we're watching the game. You know. I'm, you know, just crazy. And this is I the only it, spot. I, and I'm a diehard Mets fan, but I don't get like this for the Mets any like I do for the Jets. I shouldn't say anymore. I'm always a diehard Mets fan, but my superstitions for the Jets are what exceeds anything I do with my other sports teams, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's just so, crazy. Leads me to tomorrow. What's mm -hmm. your prediction? You got a prediction for tomorrow? Now, is prediction meaning a score or who wins? Uh, both. Bring it. Okay. My heart says we're going to beat them. Okay. 
I didn't give us the win when I did. What, what, what is your what is your head say? My head says we're going to beat them. OK, but I'm going to stick with my earlier prediction where I said the Panthers will beat us. I said we were going to go six and 11. I'm not going to change it. I'm going to stick with it. But I, I do think down inside we're going to beat them. Okay. I, I, I think our D-line is going to disrupt them. I think our, our D-line is going to make Sam see ghosts. And I think Zach, I, and I'm, I'm chilling out on Zach a little. I think Zach's going to do just enough in week one because the kid's going to have the jitters. The kid's oh, going to have the jitters. Come on. Of yeah. course. But Zach is going to do enough to get us over the hump. I don't see the high scores that everyone else is seeing. I see a 17 14 win. And, Maybe I'm crazy. And you got to and, and watch Sam because the revenge factor could be so high in his head. Too amped up early in the game that he yeah. implodes. So yeah. We'll see. Now, but let me yeah. ask you something. You want to start the game on offense or start the game on defense? Start the game on defense. Yeah, me too. Set now, the tone. Set the yeah, tone. I was just going to say that, but now let's say he marches them down the field, 10 plays, 75 yards. Are you worried? Is that it? Are you like? No, I'm not, I'm not worried till I see our offense come out. Can you answer okay. back? Okay. Okay. A lot of people are a lot of people think you know, that I mean it's it's a football game. It's, it's somebody yeah. it, it, it's it's about scoring. You know, they're no, gonna score. Course. You're you're not gonna shut them down completely. Of course. I mean, they're not the Jaguars or whatever whatever, no. the, the Texans, you know. Now I have it a 17-14 win. Do you have it as a high scoring game? Because a lot of people well, are predicting a high scoring game. This ties into my little show show and tell prediction okay. i have a i have All a right, little we'll save it All right, i have we'll a thing it. i want to do here and, okay. and, and and hopefully the football gods will send a message and give us a score okay and a, and, and and an end result i i mean i know what i think in my own mind but i'm gonna i'm gonna let the uh the football gods predict sounds good sounds good okay so let me ask you um Oh, I just lost my train of thought. I keep talking because I lost my train of thought. Blah, 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 blah. All right. So let me. You asked me if I have any kind of ritual. Well, let's get to a, an early show and tell here <laughs> of one of my plays. This is going to be me tomorrow. Okay. Oh, yeah. And oh, yeah. My best buddy sitting right here watching. Oh, very me, cool. Right? Very cool. That is and awesome. There's. there's there's me screaming at the TV. <laughs> okay. What the nah. hell are you doing? Nah. But I, I, I remember what I was going to ask you. High scoring game. I'm hearing a lot of people say 28, 24, 31, 27. I, 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 nah, I, I don't think it gets into the thirties, but it, okay. it, it's in the twenties. Okay. I, I think actually it's in the twenties for both teams. So, okay. The only reason why I'm picking a low score, because I think we know what Sam is and Zach's his first game. So I, I'm, I'm, I'm taking the quarterback jitters into consideration. Off offenses are going to struggle. Yeah. Yeah. So that's why I'm saying a low scoring game. But everything I've been hearing from Jet fans, they think it's going to be a high scoring game. And, you know, I hope they're right, because how about having a high powered offense for a change that puts a change. 27 points on the board? You know, that would be, be nice. nice. That would be, be nice. nice. It'd be nice. Well, we're looking for. Do you want to get right into this here? Do you, do you want to? Do you want to do this prediction here? Yeah, let's do the prediction, and then I have the Friday storylines we could talk about. Five okay. storylines between the Jets and the Panthers. Okay, so I figure I'm going to start with this. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and we're talking with. We're going white because, of course, we're away, so we we got our whites on. Okay. So I figure if I take all the jerseys of our past okay. quarterbacks, okay, we okay. got Chad. Okay. Throw it in the throw it in the bucket. <laughs> okay. We got the, now, we got a we got a guy who thought was going to take us to the promised land, but you know how that went. Let's put mm -hmm. Mr. Favre in there. 
Okay. Now, while you're doing all this, may I say, do you know what earworm I have in my head right now? What? Do you remember the Bugs Bunny cartoon where the witch, I think it was Bugs Bunny, she's, she's milk, bringing up the brew to put Bugs Bunny in and she's singing a cup of tea. <laughs> A cookie and you. Look out, I'm like a sorcerer. <laughs> okay. And let's put the man himself in here. Okay. All right. Yeah. Sold his soul to the devil. All right. Let me bring up my spoon here. Stir it all around. Get a nice did, did mix. You throw, did you, is there a Sanchez jersey in there as well? I didn't notice. No, no. It was no? dirty. Okay. So It was dirty. So <laughs> I, I didn't put it in All right. Mixed up really good. I reached down in here. Oh wow! Look what I found. It All looks right. like what a. We got? It looks like a. Say? Looks like a prediction from the football gods. Yeah. Jets win 27-21. Now, Kev, you realize the whole you, time you, you heard were... it here first. Yeah. Now, Kev, you realize. The whole time you were mixing it up, getting the football gods on your Get side. Get on the freaking bus! <laughs> As you're mixing it up, the football gods are on your side. Your two little bobblehead buddies the whole time were shaking their heads in agreement. They know. So, they know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. Curtis and Vinny listen, know. If, if we win, whatever, 27 times, we just win, this has to be a regular segment because you might be the reason why the curse is being broken and not me and my new couch. <laughs> I'm doing my, I'm, we're doing our best, aren't we? Yeah. <laughs> Change you it know, up, man. Change it up. Here, here, here it is. Plain and simple. You want to break the curse? Stop wearing white after Labor Day. <laughs> oh, whoa, 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 wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. So, why can't you wear white after Labor Day? I have no clue. Especially, I just especially if you're away down in Carolina. Exactly. I, I, oh, I just figured I'd throw that out yeah. there. <laughs> I, I, I'm not happy, and this is stupid. This is just nitpicking with who's calling the game for us on Sunday. Who is it tomorrow? Andrew Catalano, who I find boring, and Tiki Barber. Oh, come on, man. Yeah. Are you kidding me? Yeah, we got the C team. They didn't even give us two. You know what you know, I'm going to do? I'm going to turn down the TV and I'm turning the radio on. Yeah. With shoes in and Marty and Lyons. Lions. And Lions, yeah. 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 I ain't listening to the boring ass. Dude. You got to be kidding me. Yeah, they gave us the C team to start our season off. I thought for I, – I that's, like, for- that's like the D team. <laughs> yeah. I, I thought for week one, because of all the storylines, and I'm going to talk about that – because the Friday storylines was the connections between the Jets and the Panthers. And the first one being that Matt Rule interviewed for the job two years mm-hmm. ago. Right, right. You know, yep. the, the Jets didn't go that route. They didn't like some of his demands. I don't buy that. We were saying how the Jets read their own press clippings and they're a confused organization. They listened to Peyton Manning, who stuck it to them by – recommending these the johnsons got all googly eyed because manning reached out and big that deal. that's big deal yeah. and matt rule's not here yep yep so we got sam's revenge we got rules revenge yeah yeah so we'll say yeah i'm just i got some other storylines joe brady another guy who interviewed for the job should have yep. probably got it get it yep. now he's the offensive coordinator yep for for the Panthers. Yep, see that. Yep, that's true. The Robbie Anderson revenge I'm hearing. Oh, you get know, the hell out of it. Yeah. You know, Robbie's still aggravated, still holding animosity towards this team. You know, they asked him a question the other day, and he said, I'm not saying anything. I'm not giving that team any thoughts or ideas or whatever. So whatever the question was, he stayed mum on Anton. So you know where his head's at. He's got of that course. revenge on his mind, too. Good. Everyone's uh, talking about. I I hope you get laid out over the middle. <laughs> Probably listen, right. Listen, you're on a different team now, man. So you're the enemy. You're the yeah. enemy, just like Sam is. I I hope yeah. I, I hope they both get laid out. 
<laughs> yeah. You want them to eat, to be kindly panther poop. <laughs> no, that's right. That's right. That's right. I I want to I want to see Carolina's backup tomorrow. Yeah. Eat that shitty kitty. <laughs> And, that, and, and two like more I said, more. like like I said, nothing will give me. You know, send in like, I don't know, I can't think of a name off the top of my head. Send in like a second or a third stringer on one play. Well, pick them up and body. Slam. Pick up Sam and body slam them. Take the fifteen yard penalty. You know, maybe maybe you, you, you injure a rib or something, and he's out. For the game. <laughs> Who is their backup? Do you know? I have no idea. Mm. And neither do I. I, we, I should do better research. Anyway, the that's, last two that's why I want to see him so I can, so I know. Who yeah. <laughs> Maybe it will be Captain Morgan. <laughs> well, yeah, we know that, right? Practice yeah. squad. So the last two storylines was big deal. Sam Donald's going no no preseason turnovers. Big deal. How many plays did he play? So what? Yep. And did you know that? Yeah, because he's Jets- saving them. All, he's saving them all for the regular season. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Did you know that the Jets haven't beaten the Panthers since 2009? Uh, yes, I know that. I know that. And, we are uh, 0-2 against them since 2013. I, 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 put up a couple, I, I put up a video the other day of like four or five plays against mm-hmm. the Panthers or something like that. There is a Curtis Martin run in there that is just okay. phenomenal. Yeah, so go, no, the go one, check it out, the, you guys. The one I liked was the Steve Smith that hit off his foot into Revis's arms and he took yep. it in for took it all the way back. Yep. Yep. yep, 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 yep. Good stuff, good stuff, brother. Yeah, it, it, it should mean, be a fun season. Uh, the talk, the talking is over, it's put up or shut up yeah. time. It's, it's go yeah. time. Yeah, hell yeah, go so, yeah. Did we say that the Jets announced their starting linebackers, right? Mosley, Sherwood. And Nazel Dean are the starting linebackers, right? We said that. We know yep. that. We're going to ride with those guys. And we you know, know what that Zach will. You know what I'd really love to see tomorrow? I'd I'm love listening. to see. I'd love to see a close game. Okay. Us with like a, 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 a three or a four point lead. Uh-huh. Okay. Sam coming down the field. Mosley with the INT. Run it back. Do you remember? Listen, we were playing the Dolphins once, okay? okay. And, and Marino was back there, and he threw the ball. Eric McMillan intercepted the ball. Okay, Oof, there's okay. a name. And I, wow. and I'll never forget. I'll never forget him running down the sidelines with the ball in his hand like this, yeah. showing it to Marino as he was running by him. And Marino's sitting there going, "Fuck you, Eric! Fuck yeah. you! Fuck you, Eric!" <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong. That was McMillan's second interception that game and second yes. pick six, right? Did he yes. have two pick sixes that game? Yes. yes. Okay. And that's why the second one, he was holding the ball out to yeah. Marino, be like, <laughs> here I go yeah. again. Just, just to, to, to talk here, um, Zach Wilson, first rookie quarterback captain in team history. Yep. yep. I thought that was very good since I was yeah, one of the right. guys who – that's pretty cool. Yeah. And, and listen, I know it was no big deal, but I was one of the guys that red flagged the fact that he wasn't the captain of his college team. I, I raved the red flag on that. What do I know? Again, it's college, blah, blah, blah. He's a, he's a captain. We got the captain, Zach Wilson, Corey Davis, CJ Mosley, Falu Fatukasis, and Justin Hardy will be our team captains. Well, I saw and- they, asked, they asked Corey Davis – about Zach getting named as one of the captains. Okay. And he said, hey, man, he, he's a kid. He's young. But trust me, the guy's ready to lead us. Yeah. So we'll see. Yeah. We'll see. And, and, that, and, and these were all the signs I was worried about. Now, listen, I don't know. I don't know BYU. I didn't know Zach Wilson. He was a name that came about like a vapor. You know, he wasn't one of these names. But he's our quarterback. He's here. And I have his back. I How have many his people- back. How many people were Texas Tech fans and followed Patrick Mahomes? Yeah, no, exactly. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So so we, we talked about the captains. So we got that out of the way. Uh, did you notice the power rankings came out for week one? 
Yeah, what are we like thirty or something? Well, before before I give you our number, <laughs> do the power rankings ever really upset you? Like when you see how our team is ranked, like if they're ranked bad, does it piss you off? Do, when they're ranked well, great, do you say yeah? When, when we're ranked bad and and we haven't even played it down yet in the in in, the, in this season, uh huh. That kind of pisses me off, but I okay. mean, it, when we get into it, I mean, and we're zero and seven or one and six or whatever the hell we usually are, and they got us listed as thirty or thirty-one. Yeah, or, you know, that, 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 it is what it is. You know, don't suck and you won't be listed that low. Yeah, I never, I was never one of those fans that I took stock in the power rankings. You know, like even even when it's you know, just we were, listen, it's just I know they're taking records and everything into account, but it's, it's just people's yeah. opinions. So, but it, it would be interesting to see where they rank us from week to week. So this week, the power rankings have us at twenty nine. Well, what did I say? I said thirty, right? Oh yeah, so, no, I know. You, you know, of course, so, whatever. So, don't forget all these draft gurus right now already have us picking fourth in the draft. Fifth Let me ask draft, you a question. So. Let me ask you a question. Yeah. Did you happen to notice where they have the Panthers ranked? I think four spots ahead of us at 25 or 23. Not much better than us. Okay. Not much right. better than us. Okay. Who was, Not much better than us. Who was the worst? Who did they uh, have as last? Did you notice? Uh, Houston, 32. Jacksonville. Oh, you mean Tyrod Taylor's not taking them to the Super Bowl? Yeah. Jacksonville, 31. Detroit, 30. Us, 29. All right. Cincinnati was ahead of us at 28. Okay. But this is the same. But this is the same lineup they have for who's picking in the bottom five. Yeah. Whatever. And and, and nobody's played a snap yet. Yeah. Here's the other thing. We as Jet fans, like when you say to me, Greg, let's say for the conversation, you say, Greg, 5-11 and 11 this year. I don't get mad at that. You're a Jet fan. I know you are. You're a diehard. You're entitled to opinion. But when the non-Jet fan comes out and gives me a prediction, I'm pissed as all hell. Oh, you're going to suck this year. Oh. Yeah. So Chris Sims the other day on his show, which I love watching, said the Jets will not win over five games, and I was aggravated. Meanwhile, I only have them... You wanted to only, grab them through the yeah. screen by his Meanwhile, neck. I only have them winning six, but because I consider myself uh, the loyalist, the truest, the Jet fan, I could say it. You Screw can't it. say that, Chris. Screw you. <laughs> exactly. It's like, exactly. listen, I can, I can beat up my little brother, but you're not allowed to. <laughs> exactly. And then I was thinking to myself, well, this was the same man who brought the, the attention to Zach Wilson. I got to give him credit for that. But now he only likes us winning five games. Like, oh, Chris, what are you doing? We'll but, see, man. We'll that, see. That's proof, is in, proof is in the pudding. Yeah. And, and you know brother, what, brother? Anything that I have to add? Because like I said, I started off Monday notes, Tuesday notes, but things change. You know, Monday, Peen Ride didn't practice. By Friday, he was full bore. Mm-hmm. Key and Cole was good, got hurt, questionable. So I'm not even going to read half this stuff. Jeff fans know where we stand. Tomorrow it's for real. Listen, we get into it. You can, we can, we can go over all this crap as much as yeah. we want. It's yep. about one o'clock tomorrow on the field in Carolina. That's what yep. it's all. It's all about. Yep. It doesn't all the all the talking, all the BS, all the rankings, and all that crap. You, you know what? You go like that. Because it doesn't mean a damn thing. Yep. So before we wrap up, I know you have your show and tell. Do you want to? And we're discussing it right there here. Out of well, the I, kind, I, I kind of blew my, my 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 load here with my plate and my. Okay. And my. Okay. <laughs> All right. So real quick, we don't have to. Do you want to add to the program? And we're talking about it live here in front of everyone. The schedule week to week. Do you want to go through the other games and make predictions, or you want to not even bother and include that in our show and just stick with, you know, what we do? Lay it on me. 
I thought we would have some fun, man. Yeah, yeah, lay it on. Come on, let's go. All right. So I'll, I have the schedule. So what I'll do is who you like, I'll put your name next to it. And who I like, I'll play, and we'll have fun. See how we how we compete against each other. Brother love, brother love, how we do against let's each other. Let's do it. I'm, I'm uh, numbering. I'm numbering right now. Okay. So, we, of course, we're not including Thursday night's game. That's out. So, we're going to start with Philly. No points, just straight up who wins. No points spread, just straight up. Who do you like, Philly versus Atlanta? It's at Atlanta. Philly. Okay. I'm with you, brother. I'm with you on that. All right? So, we both like that. Who do you like, Pittsburgh at Buffalo? Buffalo. Okay. Wow. I'm with you there. Minnesota at Cincinnati. Vikings. Okay. You know what? For some fun, because it's a home game. Joe you're Burrow like you're back. liking Joe Burrow. Uh, you know what? Uh, technically, I do like Minnesota. I think they'll find a way to win. But I don't want to go. I don't want. I want to have a little fun with this. I want to have some. We, we, we got it. Something's got to be. I'm gonna. Set, right? I'm gonna break away from what my head says, and I'm gonna take. Joe Superstar Burrow, first game back from his injury at home. Cincinnati's pumped. I'm going to take Cincinnati. All right. Let's go. San Francisco versus Detroit. Oh, Niners. Yeah, agree. Arizona at Tennessee. Tennessee. Okay. I'm with you. He has a tough one. At least I think it's a tough one. Seattle traveling all the way to the Midwest to play Indianapolis. I like Seattle. So do I. But you, you know, don't count out the Colts. But I'll, 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 I'll take the Seahawks. Okay, you're taking the Seahawks as well. Yep. Okay. Here's a game I heard a lot of people debating. I know who I think, but I also know who I'm rooting for and who I think and who I'm rooting for are two different. <laughs> who do you like? Charges at Washington. Wow. Mm. So before you answer. What? 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 The Amish rifles on Washington, right? The, yes. Patrick. <laughs> yes. Fear the beard. I think, uh... I think Washington will win but I'm rooting for the Chargers. You know what? I'm going to take the Chargers. Okay. Very good. Very good. Uh, so, so are you uh, with the Amish rifle for this game or what? No, no. I, I do think the Redskins will win. It's at home. They'll be pumped. It's a long flight for the Chargers, the, the time difference. I'm right. rooting for the Chargers, but I think Washington's going to win. But I got the Chargers down as the win for okay. me. Okay, okay, got gotcha. you. All right, all right. I, I'm going to skip our team. We won't even include our team because we both know where we're we headed. both know where we're headed. Right. So I'm skipping that. So let me just let me just circle that game so we know I'm skipping. Jacksonville, Houston. Jacksonville. Okay. Okay. Even though it's a Houston home game. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Okay. Okay. I, 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 I think I think Trevor is going to show why he was number one. Okay. So here's what I'm going to say. For, the, for, for just to have fun so we could discuss next time we're on, I'm going to take Houston only okay. because it's a home game. I think the defense will do different disguises to shock Trevor in his first game. Okay. Even though well, yeah, Trevor, of, course, of, course, of course. I am a Trevor guy. I want him to do well. But I see for Houston what Jacksonville did last year. Houston will win their first game and then lose 16 in a row. And that's why they'll get the number one pick. You heard it here first. Uh, okay. That, all right. Okay. So Kevin, Let's go. Here's a game. Before I even name it, a lot of people are saying this could be the upset special of the week. Okay. I'm going to name the game. Before you pick your team, Tell me if you think it's upset special. Cleveland at Kansas City. Upset special? No. Nope. 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 You like nope. the Chiefs? Oh. Uh, running away with it. Really? Mm -hmm. Now, let me pose it this way. 
Would you feel the same if it was a Cleveland home game? Mm, maybe not about the running away part. Okay, but you still think the Chiefs will win? Yeah, come on. I have the Chiefs winning as well, but it's going to be one of those 28, 27, maybe. Even oh, an old oh time. it's going to be a nail biter for yeah. sure. But yeah, I mean, you know, by what you see on paper and the matchups and everything, it's going to be a close game. Yeah. But, you know, if there's something about opening day and Arrowhead mm -hmm. and, and, and actually, I don't even think it's going to be close. Okay. Here's a game I don't even want to pick, but we have to, unless you say skip it, because we'll probably both feel the same. Hope these teams. <laughs> Miami at New England. Can they both lose? <laughs> yeah, can we say tie? And who do you like? It's a, it's a New England home game. Give me the Pats. Okay. Give me the you Pats to, to, to squeak it out in the end. I'm with you only because it's a New England home game. Exactly. Exactly. I have nothing to say. If it was in Miami, I'd probably be going Dolphins. Yep. So. And uh, Green Bay, New Orleans, who do you like? Oh, the pack. Give me the pack. Yeah, I'm with you. Yeah. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. Because of the hurricane, this game is being played in Jacksonville, correct? Yes, I saw okay. that. Okay. Yes, I saw that. Okay. Yeah. So, yep, like the pack in that. Okay. Denver at the Giants. Hmm. Well, my Giant fans aren't going to be too happy with me, but I'm taking the Broncos. Okay. Okay. Who do you like? <laughs> this is one of those games I can't win. I can. I'm one of those. I'm one of those New York fans. A little story. I'm one of those New York fans. That I root for the Jets. I root for the Mets. I root for the, the the Knicks. I root for the Islanders. That's it. I always used to hear growing up, my dad say, "Oh, I root for both teams." How? How could you do that? You can't listen. I can't. I. I It's first of all, the Jet Giant games now are baloney because they, they, there's no animosity. Yeah, I can remember Jet Giant games back in the day mm -hmm. with Klecko and Gastineau and Lions and all those people, and, and Sims, a quarterback on the Giants, and everything. There was a game where they sacked Phil Sims 11 times. Wow, 11 times, mm -hmm. and, and I mean. I, you watched those games back then, and you could see that the hatred, the hatred between yeah. them, you know. And and I mean, I'm sure maybe they were friends and they went out to dinner yeah. afterwards or something. But the, at game time, man, and yeah. I never forget the 11 sack game on Phil Sims. Like, and, and I I remember there was a picture of Marty Lyons standing over him and he just had his jersey like this and wow, Sims, yes. was, Sims was laying on the ground it was like you it looked like he was dragging him all over the field like you I can't root for the Giants I got Denver yeah uh Chicago versus the Rams Chicago at the Rams Ooh, watch the Bears man give me the Bears wow so you that's your upset special because that's crazy wow Yes, because I tell you, I could see Dalton maybe having some trouble okay. in the beginning, and, and then maybe, Fields, and then they bring in Fields, and that's it. The team gets a boost. Okay, if you do but, that, if it's done, you got to stick with Fields and, the rest and, of the race. Oh, oh yeah, that's it. Dalton's done. Okay. I mean, barring injury to fields, okay. you know. So the last game on the schedule: Baltimore at Las Vegas. Chucky, huh? <laughs> yeah, I have Baltimore, even with all their. So do I. So 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 do I. Okay. So do I. So that's our picks for Week One. We'll see how we do. And I it's think we o we only got three disagreements here. Yeah, else, you right? like Minnesota. Yeah, you like Minnesota. I like Cincinnati. You like Jacksonville. I like Houston. 
And you like, I like Chicago. I like yep. the Rams. Sounds good to me. So it let's, see, be let's see where we're at. Well, that's it for me, brother. It that's all it for me. It. Yeah. Let's go. Yep. Let's Man, do this. I never been. I can't remember the last time I was this pumped up to get the season going. I really. hear you. I hear you. I mean, I know every year it's a wiped clean slate and we're starting from, but I mean, the feeling I have going into tomorrow, mm -hmm. this year is a hell of a lot different than the feeling I had going into tomorrow last year. Yeah. So. I, fe I feel like we have Coaches who coach, who understand the game. I feel like for a change, this team is heading in the right direction. I mean, last, just, last year, going into opening day, I knew we didn't have a chance. No. I, 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 I mean, okay, we may win a couple of games, but we, I knew we weren't going nowhere. So, yeah. I, let, like let, I said, you know what, Kevin? I'm doing this because we're wiping the slate clean, we're moving that nonsense out. And let's go. Tomorrow it's real. Get on the bus, like you say, and let's do this. Get on the damn bus. <laughs> All right, brother. Another great one. Brother, another great one. I can't wait for tomorrow. I hope you guys can't wait for tomorrow. And uh, I'm ready for some football. Are you ready for some football? Another good one, brother. You too. Yep. Have a great All one. Right. Enjoy the rest of your Saturday. You guys enjoy the rest of your Saturday. And hell, it all starts up for real tomorrow. Can't wait. See you guys later and jet up. <laughs> Talk to you later. All right.